I just want to say, don't forget to smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I upload, and comment down below your thoughts about it. Don't forget to enjoy. This lesson, lesson 33 in our book that we're using right now, is called On Sexual Healing. And what I do actually really like about what she says to me here is that to a great extent, we've made a total division between sexuality and spirituality. And there really isn't supposed to be that division of it there. Sexuality and spirituality should be something that are intertwined with each other. And if you think about, let's say, our chakras, the sexual chakras down below, which is even the sacral or the root chakra, while our spirituality is considered to be up over here in the third eye, in the crown, in the, you know, maybe you'd even say harder solar plexus. But for the most part, people make their choices on sexuality in a way that has nothing to do with spirituality. It's become a totally physical thing that has nothing else to it besides that physical side. And I think many people use it sometimes. They either, you know, they've been themselves sexually abused as children, then it, that lowered their self-esteem, which makes them more open to sex. I think it also has to do with a lot of people think that if they give in and give sex, they'll be able to be like a backdoor into a relationship, and that almost never works. Even if you get pregnant, it almost never works. Well, so... That's probably a silly idea to do in any case. But I think the main problem that we have is that we no longer have that spiritual connection to sex that it's actually meant to be. It's supposed to be a union of two bodies. The, you know, that the way that she puts it is that the closest we ever get to our um, return to source, like as if when we were in the womb inside our mother's uterus. And to a great extent, because we have all these issues with sex, when we make our decisions, number one, about having sex, or number two, about choosing a partner, we tend to mistake lust for love. We tend to mistake um, feelings of physicality and feelings of spirituality. And generally, because you have our body is geared to create these connections which tends to be a physical connection because the reptile brain that we have inside of us is set to reproduce. It wants to, you know, propagate our progeny, our ge genetics. So there's a certain drive which causes us to do that. But as people and not as animals, we can raise that to a level of spirituality, which will combine both the idea of the sexuality and propagation, because not all sex is for propagation. We all know that. Sex is also just to be enjoyed and for the sake of combining spiritually one with another. Um, what else does she say over here? Hold on. There was something else here that I remember that was important. Yes. The idea that the whole sexuality does not even have to be on a physical level because people, the whole idea of Sexuality in terms of creation, it can be creation, creativity of any sort, be it through dance, be it through, um, through ceramic, you know, creating statues, through drawing, through painting, any form of creativity can reach the heights and level of what you would feel when you're, when you have sexuality. And I can tell you for myself, my passion is the work that I'm doing. And when I have a good session, I come out of there and I'm on a total high, as if I took drugs, possibly, or as if I had orgasm or something of the same sort, which makes you feel extremely good inside because you get a flood of good feeling hormones and chemicals inside your brain. So we have to remember that the sexuality is not only connected to the physical level, which we have brought it to, it can be anything else as well. And... I think that's an important point. Any ideas on that? Any thoughts on that? Um, yeah. My bad is on that. Yeah. When um when I'm playing like music and uh when I'm playing with myself, it's you know, I'm creating some new arrangements to a tune that I know. Um you know, you know, 
looking for a new sound and you know really playing that music it really makes me feel high and also and also playing music with others mm -hmm. and singing with others is, is also very very uh, could, could be a very ecstatic um, um, you know sensation it's a spiritual connection Right? It's the same thing. It's that spiritual connection. Which, in my opinion, sex was supposed to be. Sex wasn't supposed to be just a physical thing. It was supposed to be physical together with a spiritual combination of it. Yeah. Any thoughts, Richard? Um, only that what you said at the start about um, sex just becoming a like a, a physical attraction thing um and it meant to and that it's meant to be a spiritual thing um i've, I've probably felt one kind of like spiritual feeling during sex probably once in my life and that was in my last relationship i don't never felt it before then mm -hmm. Just kind of sad me thinking so, yeah. about it. You know? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Because it can be so much more. And yeah. the connection between two people can be so much deeper and so much stronger and so much more fulfilling. Mm -hmm. And it tends to be. And I think that when you have yeah. that spiritual connection, the whole relationship takes on a different um, feeling to it, a much stronger yeah. feeling to it. Yeah. That's even overpowering sometimes. Mm hmm Yeah, I felt it once. <laughs> You're lucky some people don't don't ever feel it. Yeah. So what your job is to focus on that and make that be your guiding star so that when you do bring in your ultimate relationship, it will be just like that. Okay. Okay, what you focus on grows. So if you've had it and you know what it feels like, definitely focus on it. Okay. Okay, and you can focus it right now as we do this practice, okay? She basically gives us a meditation, which I'm going to read, and you'll do in your minds, okay? So sit comfortably, close your eyes. Take a few moments to connect with your body and your breath. On each exhale, breathe out any energies of former lovers or anyone with whom you've had a sexual encounter that you've been holding on to that you no longer want. Release the shame about it. Release the hurt about it. Release the anger that you've been holding on to in your second chakra, which is your genital area, your lower belly. Take a few moments to do that. Am I supposed to do that? Okay. This is the exhale. The inhale, reclaim your wholeness and power, retrieving any portions of your heart and or soul that you either gave away or was taken away from you. Okay, so as you're breathing in, breathe in any portions of your heart or soul that were taken away from you. As you breathe out, just feel yourself breathing out any of those old lovers that no longer have, have space for them inside of you, any angers or hurts about them that you've been holding on to, let's get rid of them and breathe in the stuff that you want. Breathe in the wholeness, breathe in the parts of your heart that you gave away. You can be breathing in also that spiritual experience because you want more of that. Okay, don't take the whole relationship because obviously if you didn't stay with her, there was a reason for it but breathe in the parts that you do want. I'm going to make this a little bit easier, I think, because I have a hard time with just imagining this. I don't know that. Do you have any a hard time imagining it as you're breathing? Yeah. Okay. 
Let's see what's happened here, okay? Yeah. I let go of any shame. Let go of any shame. I let go of any hurt. I let go of any hurt. I let go of any anger. I let go of any anger. I let go of any sexual encounter that no longer serves me. I let go of any sexual encounter that no longer serves me. I let go of any hold that my old partners have on me that I no longer want them to hold on to. I let go of any hold that my ex partners have on me that I no longer want. And I reclaim those portions. And I reclaim those portions. I reclaim those parts of my soul. I reclaim those parts of my soul. I reclaim those parts of my body. Mm -hmm. I reclaim those parts of my body. I reclaim those parts of my spirit. Mm -hmm. I reclaim those parts of my spirit. And I reclaim those parts of my mind. Mm -hmm. And I reclaim those parts of my mind. I free my mind. I free my mind. From any of those old ties that no longer serve me. Mm. From any of those ties that no longer serve me. Mm. And I release my mind. Mm. My, I body, my mind. Mm. My body. My spirit. My spirit. And my soul. And my soul. From any angers. Mm. From any angers. That might be stored there. It might be stored there. That no longer serve me. That no longer serve me. Angers are punishing myself. Anger is punishing myself. For things that they did. Things that they did. They still don't care anymore. I didn't hear that, sorry. They don't care anymore. They don't care anymore. It's only me. And I choose to release them. I choose to release them. I choose to set myself free. I choose to set myself free. For you to breathe in. Free to breathe in. The wholeness. The wholeness. The power. The power. All parts of my heart. All parts of my heart. All parts of my second chakra. Parts of my second chakra that were mine, mine. that were mine, and that were taken away. That were taken away. I bring them all back to me. I bring them all back. To me. I hug them. I hug them. I love them. I love them. I keep them sacred and safe. Keep them sacred and safe. Mm hmm. For the right people. The right people. Or the right person. Or the right person. At the right time. At the right time. I am safe. I'm safe. Have your wrist. Breathe in. Go out. Peace. Okay, how does that feel? Anything left? I wasn't sure how I felt anyway. So, <laughs> or, or the what? Say it again. I wasn't quite sure what I was feeling, or uh, so I was. I'm. I'm not really. I'm not really sure. Okay, it doesn't matter because my humble opinion yeah. rolled according to Ilana. If you do a tap five minutes a day and just say, I let go of anything that's bothered me throughout the day, I let go of all the stresses of the day, even if you don't know yeah. what they are, doesn't make a difference. It will still work. Okay. You're un you set the intention, your unconscious directs you over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to do something similar to what we did in our last seminar. Okay. Okay. I want you to envision your perfect soulmate, sex mate, twin flame, whatever it is you want to call them, in front of you. 
and I want you to step inside of them. <coughs> and what are they feeling? Not very nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. You have what you're feeling? I have to step into my soul's wind flame. Your and soulmate's body. Yeah. And do what? What, are they, what is he feeling? Towards himself or toward me? Whoa. Towards the relationship. Towards you, towards relationship. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You don't, you don't tell me what it is. Okay. Okay. They are tapping. His feeling. His feeling. Her feeling. Her feeling. My feeling. My feeling. Our feeling. Our feeling. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it represents. Whatever it represents. Whoever gave it to me. Whoever gave it to me. Wherever it came from. Wherever it came from. Whatever it means. Whatever it means. Eat from past lives. Eat from past lives. Present lives. Present lives. Future lives. Future lives. Or parallel lives. Or parallel lives. I thank you for all this hard work. I thank you for all this hard work. Um, Trying to keep me safe. Trying to keep me safe. The only way that it knew how. Yeah. The only way that it knew how. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. It's safe to transform it. It's safe to transform it. Into love. Into love. Into joy. Into joy. Into happiness. Into happiness. Into clarity. Into clarity. In every area of my life. In every area of my life. With every person in my life. With every person in my life. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist, breathe in. Blow out. Peace. Okay. Go back, step into them again. See what's changed. Feel better, Richard? She's not very sure. <laughs> it's a bit more work there. I bet you already yeah. has to do it. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm actually feeling good. It's actually feeling good. Um, okay, so let's work on Richard's. This unsure feeling. This unsure feeling. She's not very sure. She's not very sure. I'm not very sure. I'm not very sure. <laughs> All the unsureness. All the unsureness. Just let it go. That's good. Just let it go. Whoever gave it to us. <laughs> Whoever gave it to us. Whoever it was. Gave us the best they had. Gave us the best they gave us the best they could. They didn't know any better. I didn't know any better. But I do know better. I do know better. And I choose to change it. I choose to change it. It's safe to change it. It's safe to change it. It's safe to be the person I want to love. It's safe to be the person I want to love. It's safe to be the person I want to love me. 
I'm so to be the person that I want to love me. Because if I don't love myself, it doesn't matter if I love myself. No one will love me. If I don't love myself, no one will love me. And if I do love myself, and if I do love myself, not only will everyone love me, not only will everyone love me, but I'll be able to see it. But I'll be able to see it. I'll be able to hear it. I'll be able to hear it. I'll be able to feel it. I'll be able to feel it. I'll be able to smell it. I'll be able to smell it. I'll be able to taste it. I'll be able to taste it. I'll be able to love them right back. I'll be able to love them right back. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist, breathe in. Blow out. Peace. Okay, go back, step into her. How does it feel now? <coughs> Feels better. Anything left? Yeah. What's left? <laughs> um, it's like confusion, not sureness, something like that. Just, um, yeah. Okay, start tapping. More than five, less. Her confusion. Her confusion. My confusion. My confusion. All the confusion. All the confusion. That's a good sign. It's a good, it's sign. A good sign. Means things are changing. Means things are changing. And I just have to let my mind resettle itself. I just have to let my mind resettle itself. Because it's all about my relationship with myself. Because it's all about my relationship with myself. Once I love myself. Once I love myself. Totally. Totally. Holy. Holy. In every aspect of myself. In every aspect of myself. My mind. My mind. My body. My body. My spirit. My spirit. And my soul. And my soul. I'll be able to spread that love. I'll be able to spread that love. And I'll be able to see that love when it comes my way. And I'll be able to see that love when it comes my way. I let everything else go. I let everything else go. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist, breathe in. Blow out. Peace. Okay, how's it feel now? Feels good. Okay, next step. As you're in her, mm -hmm. feel how it feels when she touches your hand, takes your hand. And you Say that again, sorry. You're inside of her. Yeah. She's your hand, notice how it feels. You do the um, same thing, yeah. Well, we hold hands. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hold the hands. That's right. Hold the hands. I could go further, but we'll stop with holding hands. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can go further on your own. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How's it feel? Um. I don't know. It's kind of uncharted territory. It's been a while. You do understand it's only you touching your hand, right? Yeah. I know. Okay. Just want to make sure you're there. Because whoever's over there is really you. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> what about you, Aria? How does it feel when you step into your partner's shoes and he touches your hand? Feels good. Good. I want to feel electrifying. Let's work when you, Richard. <laughs> Everyone tap together. <laughs> I'm kind of unsure about this. I'm kind of unsure about this. Uncharted territory. Uncharted territory. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. Whatever it represents. Whatever it represents. I choose to let it go. I choose to let it go. It's safe to let it go. It's safe to let it go. It's time to let it go. <sighs> it's time to let it go. It's safe to love myself so much. It's safe, safe to love now. myself so much. That when I look in the mirror. No, when I look in the mirror. I look into my eyes. I look into my eyes. And I say, hi there, handsome. And I say, hi there, handsome. Or hi there, beautiful. I know that I'm talking to me. I know that I'm talking to me. And it's safe to feel that electrifying feeling. And it's okay. safe to feel that electric I'm feeling. In a good way. In a good way. When I touch my own hand or my lover's right. hand. When I touch my lover's hand. I can let everything else right. go. I let everything else go. I let that spirituality grow. Let that spirituality grow. That spiritual connection. That spiritual connection. That connected me. That connected me. With my lover at the time. With my lover at the time. I allow it to grow. I allow it to grow. To bring in more connections like that. Bring in more connections like that. Be they sexual or not. Be they sexual or not. I choose to allow all my connections with people. I choose to allow all my connections with people. With people who I like. With people who I like. With people who I love. People who I love. To reach those deep spiritual levels. To reach those deep spiritual levels. So I can really get to know them. So I can really get to know them. And they can get to know me. And, I got to know me. and it's safe to be accepted the way that I am. And it's safe to be accepted the way that I am. I'm a work in progress. I'm certainly a work in progress. And I'm perfect with all my imperfections. And I'm perfect in all my imperfections. And every day, every day, I, I do the best I can. I do the best I can. With what I have inside. With what I have inside. And every day as I grow. And every day as I grow. I do a little bit better. I grow a little bit better. Or a little bit better. Or a lot of better. As the case may be. As the case may be. I'm safe. I'm safe. Grab your wrist, breathe in, blow out. Peace. Peace. Okay. Nana, okay. Is, it, is, it, is it fine if I just uh, go to sleep? I, mean, I feel that like I'm, I'm crashing. Yeah, yeah we're, we're just about finished over here. We're just about finished. Okay. All right. We're just, we're just about, about finished. finished. Yeah. How okay. are you feeling now? Really good. And Richard? I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Okay. All the rest you can do on your own. We're not going to do it over here. And that is when you're thinking about your lover, all the things yeah. you would do with your lover, how it feels. If anything doesn't feel good, you tap it out. Okay. okay. At this point, it's still all you. And if you mm -hmm. can't do it with you, no one can. You yeah, don't even let it. Right? Okay. Okay. Thank you for joining us.
Hope you got something out of it. And yeah. Okay. Thank you, Alana. Thank you, You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. 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 Don't forget, if you like this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel or subscribe to my newsletter. The address is right down below over there. Have a great week.